Today's episode is sponsored by our good friends at Ian's Display Accessories, the best figure stands for retro and modern G.I. Joes, Star Wars, Marvel Legends, and Masters in the Universe. Check the link below, shipping nationwide. And our friends at Famous Faces and Funnies, located in Melbourne, Florida. Check out their Facebook live auction on great deals on comics, toys, and accessories. And TGC Customs. Are you looking to toss those Nerf guns provided in your G.I. Joe classifieds? Well, check out TGC Customs to get 1 6 scale of the iconic version 1 and version 2 weapons and accessories. Hello and welcome to another fun, film and informative episode of Codename New 2 Vero 2. Hi, I'm your presenter, Shabu R. U. Well, this is a great special episode as we look at another Hasbro Pulse offering. And um, that is the O-Ring reissue of Duke and Cobra Commander. Now, this is following the other line, which started with the Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes O-Ring reissue. And then the Cobra Trooper and Officer. Now, I guess they're coming out like this in this unique packaging. And this follows suit as well. We have a nice, um, wonderful image of Duke pouncing on Cobra Commander. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this and compare it to the retro figures. And just to give you guys a sneak preview of an upcoming EGS unboxing episode, I'm going to pull out an issue that both Hooded Cobra Commander and I did an episode on. And that is... The G.I. Joe issue number 85, the silent issue, the one that no one talks about and quickly forgets. Yes, this would be Larry Hama's second or maybe third. We have to remember yearbook number three, but this is yet another silent issue. And if you haven't watched that episode where Hooded Cobra Commander graciously graces our presence with his reflections on this issue. Now, if you guys have been following me, um, you'll know that EGS Expert Grading Services, yet another um, grading services, they have the distinction of providing you custom labels. Maybe you can't see it, but this is a uh, white and gray light camo kind of custom label. I think that is freaking nuts. And also, this is the last of the old EGS slabs. Some people didn't like these hinges, um, so they're getting a slab that's more like um, CGC, PGX, CBCS. So stay tuned for that episode, but I want to pull this one out because it's a G.I. Joe one, and it looks absolutely beautiful. And I like these because if you can see in the background, the ones that I hang up are all EGS books because they are thin. You don't really see these hinges, so I don't know why people, you know, get their panties in a bunch. But, um, you know, a lot of these modern comic people, uh, these youngsters are like, yeah, it's not seeing you saying like, you know, who gives a shit? You know, these books look absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal. <laughs> and when people come in to tour the retro room, they always gravitate to these books because of these custom labels. So. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to talk more about EGS when we do the EGX unboxing. All right. So here we have the package. And of course, uh, you guys remember the contents of it. Let's start off with the leader, the man who started all Cobra Commander. Pretty nice. All righty. So right out of the box, here are the two action figures that came in that two pack and boy does this look a lot better than the recent retro line i've been saying that about these o-ring um, offerings that hasbro pulse is doing and the good thing about it is that i've noticed that there's a lot more opportunities for people to purchase these i think um, there's still a chance to get the two cobra officer and trooper these are still available to pick up so you're not getting that, uh, you know, here today, gone tomorrow, um, that has been plaguing uh, Hasbro Pulse, not in just G.I. Joe, but also I've heard 
uh, similar in the Transformers guys and also the uh, Star Wars. I don't know why anybody would collect Star Wars, but hey, nonetheless, uh, same problems that our um, fans are getting trying to get these figures or any figures in any line. So since I can, we're going to also look at the other recent history or historical offerings of this iconic character. And let's start off with the 25 anniversary one. So you could just compare the, the artwork in the front. So this is from the 25th anniversary line. And then this is from the retro line that... You know, people hate on this line, but the thing is, like, if we didn't have this, we Hasbro wouldn't have decided to give us O-rings again. So, again, you could compare the three box art for these releases and tell see for yourself which one you think is truer to the 1983 um, offering. Because remember, 82, Cobra Commander was only offered in that Missile Command Center Sears exclusive um, Hood and Cobra Commander has that, so if you want to check out that video, that'd be a good place to look at. But when he was finally offered in 83 um, in the stores, that's, that would be an indication. I'll probably pull up the image in the corner there. But again, you can see the subtle differences in all three. All slightly a little bit off versus the original 83 one. All right, so now we're going to switch out and put Duke in. And there's no secret, if you guys have been following me since two, uh, 2015, you guys know I have little reverence for Duke as a character. Um, to me, the guy who more embodies the name Duke is actually Flint. Uh, Flint is definitely more <laughs> the old John Wayne type of Duke than Duke here. So the only offering I have to show you in comparison with box art is going to be the retro line that came out, what, 2019, 2020? And again, um, I don't see much there. Uh, but again, just to show you guys, since I have it, why not for shits and giggles, you know? Um, so let's flip back of the card. And we all know the notorious, you know, lack of a file card, you know, because they're distributing this it's funny, they're distributing this all over the world, but some countries are not able to get it. If you watch uh, Timmer from Half the Battle, Belgium is one of the countries, and he's been able to get these via, uh, ironically, India. You know, if you watch Fun School Ronnie, um, India is getting everything, no problem. Ronnie has no problem getting classifieds and everything. Um, but for some reason, some other countries don't. Lack of a file card, just basically English. We got his name, Conrad Hauser. Whenever I think of Duke, I think of uh, Diana Davis, who is the head researcher for IDW GI Joe. So homage to her. She's a big Duke fan, and uh, pretty. She's pretty cool too. So um, I always, whenever I think of Duke, I always think of Diana Davis and how she is. Such a big Duke fan. But all the different languages, not really much. Um, let's get closer to it. That's it, guys. That's basically it. Alrighty, so the accessories for Cobra Commander is actually quite interesting. Um, I was actually scared because when you see the package, you don't see the iconic laser pistol. But sure enough, it is included. Also a set of binoculars with the... A cobra insignia which is cool a scepter figure stand um a cheesy gun and i think these are tablets so um and something that and another gun that looks like it came from a like a b-movie science fiction so <laughs> i don't know about that but those are what's included for our leader cobra commander and as you see i brought out my 1980 my 1983 uh, Cobra Commander, and you could see the difference just right off the bat. Um, the undershirt, the black undershirt, you know, where that one has it, and also the colors. You see there's two shades of blue with this reissue, which is kind of interesting as well. Uh, a little bit more darker as far as the vest area. I don't know why. The, there we go. So that's a little bit more darker and prominent, and then 
the vintage one, the iconic one. Um, oh man, I just love that. I, you know, I just got mesmerized because when I look at this figure, it's just, it's just a, oh, it's just beautiful. Anyway, so uh, this is actually a great representation of that, and I think they nailed this one out of the park, and I like this very much. Highly recommended. And as for Duke, it's a little interesting. Uh, it's kind of a hybrid of the 25th anniversary uh, and also the iconic uh, Duke figure from 84. But um, what's interesting is his, his stand incorporates the flag element he has a jump jet pack, um, short fuses, bazooka, his iconic binoculars, of course his iconic book bag, and his iconic gun. But what I like is that they also included the laser uh, rifle. So, you know, again, it, the story of Duke, he was pictured with that, but he came with the stalker gun. Um, so I think that's where they, they made amends and also the helmet. Now, believe it or not, I, my crazy ass collection, I actually don't have um, Duke because, like I mentioned, I'm not a big fan of Duke, but I do have the Tiger Force Duke. So, you know, let's do a comparison of that. And again, I think that uh, with Duke, they, the, you know, the shirt, of course, uh, I'll pull up a picture of the, um, the original version one Duke, but his vest is definitely brighter, a lot. A, a darker, more bright, vibrant shade of yellow. Um, the helmet also is a little bit different. I, I just know this right off the top of my head. Uh, when Hooded Cobra Commander does it, it'll be more in depth. But I just want to give a basic overview of what to expect when you get this latest offering. And again, it's a five star. I think this the, what they're doing. What they didn't do with that bullshit retro line is what they are doing with this. It's just a shame that it is Hasbro Pulse versus being um, issued out in stores. Uh, now, if you see here, like the G1s, these are most, half of these are the Walmart uh, G1 exclusives. And they sold famous, they fabulously. Uh, there was no problem. It's actually tough to find. Uh, Soundwave is gone. Astro Train is difficult. You may find some Optimus Prime because it didn't have the trailer that detached. But you know, if you see the Devastator one back there, that is impossible to find. And, but they were readily available during that brief span that they were on store shelves. So it it could work. I just don't know. And I know, you know, a lot of people say, why don't they bring back the O-ring? And there's actually more, they're more expensive to make than the the modern figures, you know, because the raw materials, rubber, that metal O-ring in there, you know. So right off the bat, um, what's interesting if, if one of us opened these guys and see what the O-ring looks like. But um, those are the reasons why I think they're Hasbro pulses and not being sent to the stores. Um, I'm one of the few people that didn't get the his tank. Uh, I just don't have space. A and B. I'm more of an O-ring guy. I mean, I love, I love the classifieds. I'm having a good time, as you could see. I'm working on all these projects, but um, I back the Sky Striker. I got the uh, Megatron one, but with the uh, his tank, I just was like, you know. It wasn't a financial thing. It was more of the fact, like, look, look at this. It's like between comics and like action figures. I mean, I'm running out of space. So to justify spending that much money um, on that is, uh, I don't know. My wife will probably kill me. But that's why I opt out. But so far, all the offerings uh, from Hasbro Pulse. Um, I just wish also this is another thing: diversity. Um, and I'm going to make a video about this. I've been a G.I. Joe YouTuber since 2015. And I was overlooked in the 40th anniversary thing. And this is not about getting shit, free shit. It's the fact that, you know, I'm, a, you know, I serve the country and I'm a G.I. Joe YouTuber. And they overlooked me. So if you guys want to send a message to Twitter, Instagram, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, just say like, hey, please incorporate all the G.I. Joe YouTubers from all the various backgrounds, um, not just 
all of one particular color. Anyway, um, that's my look overview of this latest offering. So once again, thank you for watching. And um, we'll sp I'm still working on that Storm Shadow um, classified slash look at his um, kind of his mythos in the IDW. So stay tuned for that. We're going to have another EGS unboxing. We have some great comics to look at. And also recap of issue uh, 295. So I know I'm a couple issues behind, but I'm going to try to finish off strong. Um, this is Shabu RU. Thanks for watching.